Hey, man, if you know you need any badges or overall grinded, bruh, hit up my man's Wish Grinders. He's 100% legit. His links will be in the description, so, you know, go hit that man up if you need anything done, bruh. Without further ado, bruh, let's get right into the video, y'all. It's finally here. The moment you all have been waiting for. I, Dub Prince, will be finally revealing all of my signature combos and dribble moves. But before we get into the tutorial, <laughs> let's see what y'all gonna learn today. After Fox 11 first aired this story promo, members of Shoreline Mafia posted to their Instagram account this response. Expletive nice. Fox, we sip the juice for life. For life. Nice. I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all time, so let's get right into the tutorial, y'all. Let's get it! Alright, so here we are, bro, in the Doug Prince Mansion, bro. One thing I wanna say, bro, I appreciate y'all for all the support, bro. Almost at 5k subscribers. I appreciate the, like, the the 1.7k of y'all that have noties on, because y'all are the real loyals that want to have noties on, you feel me? But, you know, I really appreciate all the support, bro. Like, from the bottom of my heart, bro, I'm work my, you know, I'm working my butt off the rest of the year, but I make sure I'm grinding, posting, you know, great content, entertaining content for y'all boys. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. So, the least y'all I can do is show y'all how to dribble like me, bro. I'm gonna give y'all literally everything. Like, I'm gonna learn new moves by the end of the year, bro, right? For now, I'm gonna give y'all literally everything, all right? Literally all I can give you, bro. So if you just watch the whole tutorial, bro, don't skip nothing because you will miss something that you didn't know before. I'm telling you. So for my dribble moves, these are my size of uh, senior shot. I'm sorry for like the last video. I was talking about dribble moves. It didn't have all of them. But no, here they are right here, bro. Here they are right here. And make sure you have hop jumper 21. And you should have on the jump shot. I don't cap. It is the best jump shot in the game, bro. But you know, these are my signature styles, bro. And also what you also got to do, bro, is go to controller settings and put your post stick orientation on absolute, bro. If it's not on absolute, you will not be able to do all these moves, okay? So, you know, get into my core or the Chrome Arena. Either one works just fine. And get into the my core, bruh. <laughs> and, you know, these, I'm going to show y'all basically from easy to difficult, okay? E Very easy to very difficult. I'm telling you, to master all these moves might take you a week or two. I ain't gonna cap. You have to keep on coming back, keep on learning these moves. But the the basic beginning, you can learn that in a, in a, in a what's called in an hour, simple. But the advanced half spin moves, I'm telling you, it's gonna take you a minute. It took me a minute. It's gonna take you a minute too, bro. I'm telling you all this, bro, from experience. But to start it off, I'm gonna start at the most basic way. Okay, I'm gonna start off with how to use a Steph Curry size up package. All right. So the first thing you can do, bro, is flick up on your right stick and it gives you this animation. All right. And what can you do out of this animation? So you can speed boost either way. So if it goes from your, let's say if I do from my right hand to my left hand, you can go this way. Or, you know, if it goes from your, what's it called, your right hand to your left hand, you can go the other way. You can go either way. You can either go ball hand or away from the ball hand rim running. All right. I use this in between, you know, my combos in case I need a rim run. So, you know, if someone's pressing me too hard, hit that in the rim run, okay? It's a little speed boost animation. It's like the Kobe size up. The Kobe size up is flashy, but this does the same thing as a Kobe size up, I promise you, okay? You can do it behind the back out of it. It does the same thing. And moving on from that, you have the, what's it called? The crossovers, bruh. You can spam it. I don't recommend doing more than two in a row. The more than three. I honestly, like, don't do more than three in a row, bro. Don't be dumb. It's so literally a waste of a move. It's very easy to guard. But, you know, y'all gotta have to understand this is a crossover. Right and left is a crossover, right? Right and left is a crossover, okay? So, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's a crossover that will be, you know, important coming up. And then we gotta learn the between the legs, right? Between the legs this year is the ugly down, like the behind the back. You know, feel me? It's just the ugly down doesn't matter either way just daggly down you feel me just daggly down boom 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 so that's how you get the between the legs bruh and then moving on for that you got the little side hezzy one of my favorite moves bro this little side hezzy bruh it's, it's goaded i'm telling you this right now bro it's goaded this little side hezzy so you know how you do it hold r2 and just flick your right stick to one side it's the same thing as 19 same thing as, as it was in 19 and then probably my favorite move the reason why i use steph curry 
is this size of move right here. See how we going back down fast right there? It's like Pro 3, but you no know, little less OP. But you know, it's it's fire. It's easy to chain combos out of it. You can also run run out of it. Like if you do that, you can do this is like a fast ass speed boost. That's what poor boy Sim using all the time. He does the pro two because they have to you no know, contest you right here. This is an easy three, and they can run out of that. So how you do that? It's very easy. Hold R two, select down your right stick, and give you that animation. All right. So then, moving on from that, what you gotta learn is, of course, the hezzy between the legs. I, I'm using this, this is kind of just base movement, simple ways to get open on the court, bro. And this is another move, I warn you, please do not spam this, okay? Don't just go to the park and spam this back. You can, behind screens, I guess, but like, learn new combos, don't be predictable, you feel me? So, how to do this, all I gotta do is hold R2, run to one side, do a hezzy, then in between the legs, okay? It will give you a different animation. Sometimes it will give you the fast speed boost. Sometimes it will give you the slow one. But, you know, it's all about your timing, how fast you can do the between the legs and the hezzy. So that's pretty much, you know, base move, movement, you know, uh, what's it called? Explanation, bro. It's literally base movement here, you know, hezzy between the legs, hezzy between the legs, hezzy between the legs. It's pretty much the comp way to dribble right now. Very easy to do. It takes much time to learn. What you now got to do, bro. Is learn how to do the misdirection crossover so this is the misdirection crossover right here i be doing this move all of, this is one of my favorite moves bro i came with this move originally no one else has done this move before me i'm telling you this right now no one has no thought of like show me a youtuber that be doing the misdirection between the legs and i'll say i'm captain but honestly bro i was in the my court thinking like hmm if you can misdirection the mind behind the back why can't you do it with the between the legs so it's very simple bro so, like, this move is very important when using the hezzy crop between the legs because I'm telling you, people are going to catch on. They're going to catch on to the movement. So, what you got to do, you may, may say come here a few times, and then come here, and misdirection. Oh, misdirection again, and they can pull a three right there on the, what's it called, the little stop. You feel me? So, how do you do the misdirection uh, between the legs? It's very easy to do, bro. All you got to do is speed boost one side and do, then do it between the legs. Simple. So, you speed boost. To, it's very. It's a three-part step, all right? I say maybe four parts. Speed boost to one side, between the legs. Switch hands and then just speed boost, right? Literally three steps, okay? Speed boost one side, pause between the legs and speed boost to the other side. It's very easy, bro. So let me break it down slower for y'all that still don't understand. I speed boosting on one side, I stop, then do it between the legs, then I hold R2 and then I move my right stick up and speed boost to the other side, you feel me? So I use this move a lot. It'd be killing everybody coming here, boom. Oh, now I'm gone and I can shoot that off the rip, you feel me? And you know, I have a lot of other dribble tutorials that explain like how to shoot off no hezzy right here. And the whole behind the back tutorial out the patch will also be in the description for y'all boys, bruh. But you know, I'm telling y'all right now, there's this one more meta move that people have been using. I seen grinding me using this a lot. It's this, what's it called? This oh, I messed up. It's this, what's it called? Uh momentum hop step move. Okay. He was using it a lot to speed boost, and you can shoot off it too. So you know, it looks like this. I'm messing it up, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm doing no cuts. Like, I'm doing this all fresh. It's gonna be like you live in the micro with me, you feel me? So, if I mess up, bro, you're gonna see it live. So, here, oh, I'm selling. Yo, I'm selling. Oh my god. Let me find out I forgot this move. Ah, right, there we go. Right, right, I sold, I sold, I sold. Ah, right, there we go. All right. Like, I don't do this move too much, but I, I decided to you know, teach y'all, of course, bro. So, you know, y'all come in here with me, bro. Y'all come in here with me. Like, this is a journey for both of us. All right, so how you do this move, bro? Grind be using this all the time. I just forgot a little, like, step of it, you feel me? I'm telling you, this dribbling, bro, this year is kind of annoying, bro. There's a lot of things to learn, but, like, I'm pretty much, I know every move in the game, bro. I just, like, I didn't even know how to do this move, but I just literally came in here first try and put it on and, you know, found how to do it, bro, you feel me? So it's a, a momentum hops that move, bro. I'm, I apologize for the delay, the delay right there. It's very easy to do, bro. A lot of people be speed boost offing it. I don't do it that often, but I honestly might start using it more because it's pretty good to chain combos, you feel me? So pretty much it's just a momentum and then a hop step, right? So how do the momentum hold your right stick down and then flick your right stick and left stick to the same side, I right? feel me? It looks like this, that's how to do a momentum. You can look at the top left to see that and how to do a standing uh what's it called how to do a standing hop step all you gotta do is hold your what's it called your left stick down diagonally to the other side that your ball hand is on and then it gives you that you know little hostile animation so chain together it's just like this i'm not gonna go over this too many times you know y'all always saw me mess up and try to do it you feel me so y'all can kind of troubleshoot yourself what i was doing wrong so you know here boom now I do it every time feel me so, like i'm telling you dribbling is all muscle memory and uh what's it called repetition i don't do this move so i don't have the muscle memory down but you know I, of course, had the base skill as a dribbler to understand how movement works. So, of course, I was able to master it very easily. But I'm telling you right now, bruh, this move, it's, it's useful, bruh. But personally, with my dribble style, I don't use it too much, bruh. 
And so now I'm gonna get into the you know half spin moves, bro, the advanced moves. I'm gonna walk y'all through this, bro. I saw I said before I'm doing no cut. So if y'all see me mess up, I'm gonna show y'all how this like it's not I don't get it perfectly every time. It's you know kind of hard to do it with delay, latency, and all of that. But I'm telling you, once you get it all down, it is powerful, bruh. So first things first you need to learn is the half spin. Alright, how do you do the half spin? It's literally a counter clockwise clockwise rotation from three to twelve. Excuse my stutter right there. You know, right there. Very easy. You can use this in many ways. Right, the main way, the first way I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna teach y'all the easiest way to use this is the half spin behind the back. All right. With my signature styles, it's very easy to slip past your defender right here. So they're pressing you, half spin behind the back, and depending on the angle you do it at, you can go straight to the rim. You can go sideways. You know, you can do a lot. Of, you can chain out of this like that. You feel me? That's advanced. Like this right here is advanced movement. You feel me? But you know, I'm gonna start you off with the basics. I'm telling you, bro. Basic one is just. You can chain, you can dribble forever, okay? You can spin forever, it's like 2K19, but it can spin forever. All right, so what I'm gonna show y'all right now, bro, is half spin behind the back, guys. Right, very easy. After your half spin, I do a half spin, which is a three to 12, counterclockwise rotation. Hold up on your left stick, don't hold R2, and then flick down your right stick, okay? That's how you do a half spin behind the back. That is the base move you need to learn. That's how you get an easy two against most defenders, all right? People don't be expecting that in the park, especially with my sigs, all right? And so next, I'm gonna explain to y'all this is how you start with the going sideways, all right? It's how you start going sideways with this move right here, bro. My favorite move, like, I usually do this move the first play. I play someone to see how, what they're playing like, because it, it gives them the kind of illusion that you're going to rim run, but then you, you know, snatch it back. You see right here, they could rim run? Nope, I'm here, right? So it's kind of like breaking down a defender's tendencies. Like, on the ISO this year, it's very easy to guard ISO, in my opinion. So you got to be able to mix it up very easy. It's easy to bait, get back, you know, especially without the behind the back. You can press super high and get back at the same time. So you can be chilling. So how do you do this move, bro? It's the same thing as the half spin behind the back to start. It's just a 3 to 12 counterclockwise rotation. But the next part is kind of difficult. You got to do it between the legs and then spin to the other side. You feel me? So to break it down for y'all, all right, the next move after the half spin is between the legs. All right, it looks like that. How to do it between the legs, all right, it looks like this. Up top left, it's between the legs. If you do a crossover, it's gonna look like this. All right, that looks stupid. All right, this, like doing this, I was, I was doing this at the start of 20. This is ugly. All right, do it between the legs, do not do a crossover. All right, that's how what it between the legs looks like. And then after you do a half swim between the legs, you're just gonna look like this. All right, that's how your players gonna be looking. Like, just like this, it looks dumb. You're gonna be looking moving forward. It's not a kill at all, it's a useless move. You're just gonna run into your defender. So, what you gotta do next, all right, is rotate your right stick from uh, counterclockwise again from 12 to around eight like that and then at the same time you want to hold your left stick to the other side you feel me so with those three steps bro it's something like this i can't explain it any better y'all got it if y'all don't understand that y'all guys look we look at the what's called top left look at the hand cam look at the movement i'm just telling you there's a half spin between the legs counterclockwise spin and then hold your left stick to move this side at the angle like right after you do the what's called the you want to do the, the half spin again and then the hold your left stick at like the same time kind of that's the best way i can explain it and after you get that that sideways move you want to do a crossover all right do a crossover from right to left and then do a hezzy so i'm like after the you get the spin right you're gonna look right to left and do a do a hezzy all right so right to left and do a hezzy feel me so here right left hezzy all right so that's how you spin back you know with the basic one all right this is how you get sideways is the first way how you get sideways all right the next move bro is a double cross Alright, very easy. Alright, it's honestly, in my opinion, it's easier. It, it's, just, it's honestly the same difficulty as the spin back, to be honest. This is how you, this is how you rim run off us of, what's it called? You know, that sideways spin thing. I've been doing this all the time. I think it's beautiful. Like, this right here, this movement, this double cross, is so beautiful, bro. So, how you do it, bro? It's the same way as how you did the spin back. Alright, it's the same way how you did this. Okay, same way how you did this. But instead of doing the hezzy, you do a double cross. So before you're going, you were doing a this, and a, you, you're doing a cross, and then flick it up on your right stick. So now, it's a, and you want to do a cross, cross. You want to do a cross, cross. So it's gonna be a double cross. Easiest way to explain to you, bro, is it just a double cross? It's very simple, bro. Very simple. And then moving on from that, I right, is you have to learn this move right here, the cross behind. All right, this is how I start most of my combos is the cross behind. All right, so it's like half spin between the legs again. But like, instead of doing a cross hezzy or a cross cross, you're gonna do a cross behind the back, okay? So with this move, it's kind of difficult to explain, so I have to explain it on the fly, all right? So this is why I'm not doing no cuts. 
with this move it can give you two different animations because it can look like either like you know this like slow like right there that's slow okay right there that's a slow one okay so make sure you go back and understand that that's a slow one all right and i'll try to get the fast one it doesn't work every time you know mostly i uh, most of the time you get the slow one bro but if you get the slow one just know that you, uh, there's more moves to do out of it all right so that's the fast one all right that's the fast one all right that's the fast one go back that's the fast one when it gives you the fast one you can't do a half spin out of it you have to do a half spin like like what's it called like that all right you feel me so if you do a if you do a, a half spin going from you have to do a clockwise half spin when it does gives you the fast one. But if it gives you the slow one, you want to do it counterclockwise, if that makes sense. So if it's clockwise, after the cross behind, uh, if it's clockwise, so let's let's say let's say it gives you the slow cross behind. All right, you want to do the what's it called the counterclockwise half spin, which is like this, which is like no look like this on the top left. It's from three to twelve. All right, might be a little confusing, but it gives you the fast one. You want to do it clockwise, but but reverse. You want to go from twelve to three clockwise and then it'll spin you back all right so that's how you use them i can't really explain it that fast on the fly but you know i'm right here you know doing the cross behind i got the slow one so i'm gonna do a clockwise rotation all right and so then out of every slow one after out of every slow behind the uh, cross behind you can do another half spin and then you can start it over again so let's say you know i'm here i do a you know cross behind it gives me a slow one half spin cross and then i can do a double cross or whatever you know you can chain different moves out of it bro like you have to understand like you got to learn the basics of you know what basic one is got to understand how it works you feel me so half spin do it between the legs and do, then do a double cross all right everything chains out of everything you feel me i can do a double cross into a, a cross behind i can do this right here half spin cross behind and then that gave me the fast one out of the fast one you can do a crossover then spin back to the three point line or you can you know spin it back so you know right here double cross Half spin, between line and cross, cross behind, you do this, then you can spin back too. Like there's multiple ways to use this, bro. Like you just gotta have to kind of understand what if this happens, you have to think on the fly and then like boom, I can do that. I right. I know exact I know this whole animation, how it works. You see right there, I gave me the fast one, so I did the the clockwise uh half spin. So that's a kind of an example of how if you get the fast one, that's how you react to it, bro. You have to react quick. I right. if you wait, it will give you a bad animation, all right. So I know that was kind of rambling, but I hope that you know made sense. You gotta pretty much understand that you can chain out of the double cross, and you can chain out of the cross behind. I right? the fast cross behind when it just goes like boop boop and not slow. You you can only do a half spin back, and then you're kind of stuck. You can do you can do moves out of it. I'm gonna show y'all later, but I'm telling y'all this this Joe style is kind of dynamic. It's kind of hard to explain, but you know for the this is for the people that really want to learn and really get down to it, bro. And so now I'm gonna treat y'all to spin back, which is like this. I right? It's a half spin between the legs and you spin right back. All right, so the difference between this move and then this move, I right, there's a the key difference is the left stick. All right, with this move, you want the left stick to be pointed after the crossover, you want the left stick to be pointed like back all the way back instead of to the side. So after the between the legs and the spin, I'm gonna be I'm a I'm holding my left stick, I'm holding my left stick all the way back after the between the after the half spin between the legs, I'm pointing my left stick, left stick all the way back. So you know, after the half spin cross and then the other spin back you want to have your left stick pointed back and then after you do that you want to do a hezi you feel me so all together it looks like this boom all right this is the spin back you know you can use it you can chain out of the side so how you would chain with this bro let's say you did a half spin between the legs double cross boom and i can spin back i've been doing that move a lot all right so pretty much you just gotta learn what you can chain out of and what you can't chain out of bro it's kind of complicated, but at the end of the day, it, it's very simple once you get learned to it. All right. So if it gives you the, like, you know, you feel, you see how I'm doing, bro, and then half spin, or I can come back here. Like, you know, you feel me? Like, everything can chain out of everything. You know, if it gives you the fast cross behind, another thing you can do is a double cross. All right. You can do a double cross right there like I did before. I messed up right there. Let's see if we can get it again. Nope, I cannot get it again. It will give me a slow behind the back twice in a row. All right. So now I'm moved to the more advanced move, bro. I'm sorry that didn't make sense. You guys gotta slow it down. Look at the hand cam. Uh, you feel me? But I'm gonna teach y'all this around the world move, okay? It's what a lot of y'all be asking me, bro. Is this around the world move? You can literally spin forever. Like, look at me. Like, <laughs> spin forever. This is probably the fanciest way out of basic one. Basic one, you know, Steezo uses a different signature style that looks better for some people, but I think I like basic one more in my opinion. All right, so how to start doing the, what's it called? around the world okay what the first thing you want to do you want to do a half spin 
cross a half spin between the legs, but don't move your left hip to the other side. You want to keep on going to the same side and then do a cross behind, all right? You want to do a cross behind, which looks like this. Boom, boom. It's just cross, then down, all right? While holding your left stick to the same side that you're going to. So don't, don't, this is not like the reverse thing. This is not the, the first part. You want to keep it the same way, all right? You feel me? And then you can go around with it, you feel me? All right? So I'm going to break it down. The first step, half spin between the legs. Hold the left stick the same side and do a cross behind, all right? And then after that, bro, after the first cross behind, you want to do a crossover back. All right, so you want to, after, so this is mainly based on the left stick, guys. Right? Mainly based on left stick. You're holding your left stick to the other side with a cross behind. And then you're going to do, you're going to hold your left stick to the other side. All right, hold it to the other side and then do a crossover. All right, so I'm going to slow it down for y'all. Go like this, cross behind, crossover. Then it has me, no, my, 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 what's called my face is like facing the back. All right, I'm do it one more time. Cross behind, flick the left stick, and then it's crossover, right? And then out of the, that crossover, you can either do a double cross or you can do a cross behind. All right, you see how it all chains together, you feel me? Like, y'all, y'all just stick with me, bro. I'm going to give y'all all the keys I can do after the cross. Cross behind, double cross, half spin. It all chains together. Basic one all chains together. So that's pretty much how you do a reverse. So you can do a out of this one cross, cross behind, double cross. You can do a half spin out of that, and then go back to three point line. So pretty much after the cross, so pretty much this the round the world. What you need to know is that the first cross behind is just to set you up. That's just a setup, right? That's just a setup. The next, the crossover after that is the main part. You're gonna pretty much just do a crossover while holding your left stick to the base on the other side. So right now my left stick is on this side, move my left stick, cross over, and then you do any moving move. And the moving moves are the double cross, a behind the back, and you can also do a, what's it called? A double cross and a double uh, a cross behind, you feel me? And then like, you can chain combos. I, that's how you be chaining combos, you feel me? That's mostly how I be chaining stuff. So that's pretty much like basically all the moves I be doing, bro, all the combos I do, it all has something to do with, you know, cross behind, cross, like that. That's another move I be doing. So you just got to pretty much find a way to, like, break it down by yourself. If y'all want me to do a more, like, I can go a move-by-move -move tutorial. I might drop a one like that, but no. I'm giving y'all all the keys right now. I gave y'all literally all the moves that I do, you know. These are all the moves that I do pretty much together, bro. And it's pretty much the same thing over and over again, but it's chained in unique ways, bro. But, you know, that's the end of the jewel tutorial. That's all I can explain to y'all, bro. You know, if this video does get mad likes or if people in the comments are still confused, I might drop another one more in the future, just step by step. Might do, like, a whole little mini-series, I. Right? But, you know... <laughs> It's been your boy, The Prince, your favorite African on YouTube. I hope this helped y'all. I apologize if this did not help. I tried to go as slow as I can. This video is already like 20 something minutes long, bro. But you know, <laughs> it's been your boy, The Prince, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.